Dear subscribers, today we return to you with the continuation of the column, Yakovlev's Dictionary, in which those who create and test our aircraft in simple words will tell us about his various systems. Today we will find out what is the upper and lower deck stringers and much more. Why did you fly? Hello everyone, my name is André. Today I will talk about the fuselage of the MS-21 passenger plane. The main importance of the fuselage is to accommodate the payload of passengers and cargo. Also inside the fuselage are electrical, hydraulic, pneumatic and other systems. A wing is attached to the fuselage. Plumage. Sometimes engines and other units such as a horse. The size and shape of the fuselage depend on the type of payload. It is conventionally customary to divide the fuselage inside the component parts the nose part, central part, and the tail part. Geometry of the fuselage builds relative to the baseline, which is called the construction horizontal sections of the passenger aircraft, divided into at least two parts. The upper part or upper deck houses the passenger compartment, where passengers sit and there is room for hand luggage, and the lower deck is given over to the cargo compartment. There are very large aircraft where more than one passenger deck is installed, and even an elevator can be installed. Since the cross-sectional shape of the fuselage is very often not circular, then for its geometric description, use an equivalent diameter, which is equal to the diameter of the circle, the area of which is equal to the area of the furniture. This is the maximum confluence of the fuselage. As a relative parameter uses the elongation, which is equal to the ratio of the length of the fuselage to the equivalent diameter, highlights the elongation of the nose, the central tail, and the fuselage as a whole. The length of the fuselage is determined based on the maximum number of passengers carried. At the same time, it is necessary to evenly distribute emergency exits along the entire cabin of the aircraft so that passengers can leave the aircraft in the event of an emergency, in 90 seconds. This is a safety requirement and is confirmed by full-scale certification tests. Let's talk about the design of the fuselage. The fuselage does not bend the vertical and horizontal planes. Torsion, in the vast majority of cases, or even look around as a beam, leaning on supports, which are the wing attachment units. So what loads come on the fuselage? First of all, it is from the flow or aerodynamic load, which is evenly distributed over the entire surface of the fuselage and can reach large values on the protruding parts. Fairings are made in such places. The load from the attached units, wing, plumage, sometimes power plants, if not attached to the engines, and it is considered as the reaction of the supports to the attachment unit. Load from the weight of the payload, which is located inside the fuselage. Also the load from pressure drops or from fuselage inflators because the plane flies at an altitude of 12,000 mi and above where the passenger without protection is impossible due to low atmospheric pressure, therefore Inside, the fuselage inflates if the aircraft is flying at very high speed, that is, also thermal load or load from heating. For all combinations of these loads, it is necessary to ensure the minimum weight of the structure with sufficient strength. To do this, designers use a special technical solution, uses various structural power schemes of the fuselage, the shape of the fuselage is carefully selected during the aerodynamic design of the aircraft, and one way or another, the fuselage has the largest surface area and makes a certain contribution to the resistance of the aircraft. You can reduce this resistance if you design the nose part of the fuselage correctly. It gives it a more comfortable streamlined shape. At the same time, it is necessary to provide the required viewing angles from the cockpit, which is a design requirement. Reducing the resistance a little more helps the more gentle a form part of Ezelej in you. Here it is necessary to remember the maximum angles of takeoff and landing and hit the plane with the tail and star runway and ensure the requirement to give the angles. And now we have moved with you inside one experimental aircraft MC-21. Izelyashki Wi from 21 is built on the type of floor Monaco. This is the load-bearing skin, confirmed by the transverse and longitudinal set. The longitudinal set includes stringers, Power profiles on garons to the transverse spanner. The aircraft skin is made of thin aluminum sheet. Spingers are attached to it, and this entire set is attached to the sponges through tents and compensators. Spangots are ordinary, 
installed mainly in the regular part of the cabin, and there are power ones. These are reinforced spanners. They are installed in places where large loads come, for example, together with the installation of a wing. The frame of the passenger floor consists of longitudinal and transverse poles, on which four rails are additionally installed. In these rails are installed the cabin of the aircraft with a step of one inch. Floor panels made of composite honeycomb panels, so that they are quite strong and light. The airplane is a hermetic structure, so that the air conditioning system can maintain a certain pressure during flight. The fuselage experiences cyclic loads throughout the flight. Therefore, the required resource must be provided. To do this, designers use only the necessary structural elements, minimize the number of holes and fasteners, and avoid sharp corners. The level of comfort of passengers is determined using special tools. For this purpose, the Sorskoi press is painted with the so-called snow. It's three circles around the head, shoulders and shit. And the larger these circles, the higher the level of comfort, determined by the number of passengers. The option of the volume of hand luggage, as well as the cargo compartment, receive the outer contour of the fuselage. Let's talk about the concept, shape and optimization of the attractive fuselage confluence. The larger the middle, the greater the surface of the fuselage washed, and therefore the resistance. Therefore, it is necessary to rationally approach the issue of cross-sectional shape. Dimensions should provide for payload accommodation, aircraft systems placement, design, and there should be minimization of empty or unused space. The cross-flow is affected by the number of passengers, the level of comfort in a row, and the volume of shelves for. Consignment, as well as optimization of cargo stock which can be transported compartmentalized cargo containers, pallets or bulk cargoes, as well as optimization of the flow in general, either round in shape or rectangular or consisting of children's spirits. Fuselages can be very different from each other. It all depends on the type and purpose of the aircraft, but one of them unites as a whole. Insulation is the main structural element, without which it is impossible to exist aircraft and its design. An interesting task in the process of creating an aircraft Friends, Andre Yunusov was with us today. We learned about the main purpose of the fuselage, its design and shape. See you again. Bye bye.